Borno, let's go. First place, first locals on Kashtara. First locals to playing competitively again. Told you we can make it happen. Now it's time to bring it around town. I hope you guys heard him, but he did the whole intro. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Spanko, and we're back at Locals. We actually already been here for a while. I was doing some trades, I was doing some stuff. I got here a little bit early today. Me and the guys, we got food, we came to sit down, and I'm actually here today to play Locals. And I told you guys that I want to take being competitive a lot more seriously in 2024. So, for that reason, we're not playing a rogue deck. Well, maybe it's considered a rogue deck today, but I still think it's one of the most powerful decks in the format and the deck that i'm playing is kosh Sura. now i don't have the deck put together i have all the cards i haven't had the chance to put it together yet so i gotta bust out some new sleeves and i gotta put the deck together so let's get right into it i literally have all the cards here i'm trying to set it up my side deck my main deck my extra deck this is my most recent pickup of the day ulti big guy i actually just got this today which is great so i gotta put this all together and then uh hopefully we got a deck to play today i'm excited a few moments later all right guys the list is ready to go i'm excited and i think it's the best deck in the meta just because of this this one card the best card in the meta all right let's see how we do so here we are in game two of round one now in game one of course i learned that my opponent was playing predator plants i ended up winning the game one now going on to game two typically this is where i end my line however i wanted to go into the shangri era because i know if i'm able to lock one of his zones it becomes really difficult for predator plant to play so what i'm going to do now you guys are going to see is i'm going to be able to banish a bunch of cards i'm going to be able to lock his pen zones i'm going to be able to pop the scorpio and then i have enough for game so we ended up finishing our round one and we're currently one and oh Kashtar is a pretty solid deck. We were playing up against Preda Plant, which is a deck that I haven't seen in a long time. But Preda Plant is, I think, a deck that can low-key pop off. Now, game one, he actually chose to let me go first, which I was, cra was like, crazy because he won the die roll and I was not expecting that at all. I make my board. It's a pretty solid board. And he goes, Raigeki. And I'm like, what? But luckily, you know, we were still able to grind. And that's the best thing about Kashtar is his deck grinds like crazy. So we're still able to grind and get out the win in two games where just quickly XO, no losses yet. Let's see if this luck continues. Guys, I have a sad story to tell. Chair now is uh, lives far away from here. Bye. This is his last time here. Yeah. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see you is, but you it's know sad. what? I told the vlog, or I'm gonna tell the vlog now, oh. that next time I come to locals, I'm playing your build of Castro. Oh no. Yeah. Tell that to the locals. Don't tell that to me. Why? They're gonna be happy about it. They're not gonna be happy about yeah, it. That's the thing. But you're gonna be happy about it. Yeah. Don't don't go X4 baby though. No, I won't go X4. X4 or nothing. X4 or nothing. If you go X4, don't shoot it, video. Yeah. <laughs> Arnie, come here. Come here. Did I hear that correctly? Can you just say what happened to you right now in round one? We don't talk about that. Arnie, you went upstart goblin in time. Long time ago. No, just now. Oh no, oh no. So in our round three over here, this is game one. It's against Labyrinth. We're able actually to set up pretty much full combo. And every single time my combo is Unicorn, Fenrir, Riseheart, and Ogre with the preparation set, of course. And this wide board is really nice because it doesn't play into Nibiru. And you're setting up a ton of different disruption, which is really nice. Now Labyrinth here is going to set up, but I think Kashtar just has a really good matchup into Labyrinth. On top of that, the Ruma Cannon, yes, it puts all my monsters in face down, but if he's not able to break my board, it doesn't matter because on the follow-up, I'm going to be able to break his boards and go for game anyway. 2 and oh, baby, let's go. I'm telling you guys, when I'm not on these rogue decks, I'm a, I'm a good player, I'm telling you. But uh, that was against Labyrinth, and Labyrinth was a deck that uh, I hate playing up against it. I hate playing up against it. But the nice thing is, when you're able to set up your combos and you're able to set up like I, I love this is the board that I always like going if you guys ever want to play Kashtra this is the board that I love ending on you go Ogre, Fenrir and Unicorn just end on that what do you want to say? come here watch out for the misplays they're everywhere I didn't even misplay I didn't even misplay but uh, yeah you go just Ogre Fenrir and Unicorn and if you end on that typically that's enough Ogre is gonna snipe a lot of the engine stuff out Unicorn and Fenrir of course are good cards as well and you're gonna have unlimited recursion with this deck birth preparations this deck is absolutely insane so I'm really excited I'm 2-0 and oh, two good rounds 2-0 and oh, both my opponents which they're great guys by the way but you know going 2-0 and oh is nice feels good going first going second this deck is very powerful and I'm excited to keep playing today so I'm gonna be showing you guys the rest of the day I want to get some different feature matches though I don't want it to all just be me I 
if you guys want to check out all the feature matches at my locals that i always go to you guys can check out spanko duels that's where i post the full duel so you guys can check out how i play how my opponents play how to learn different decks that's the best way i think by watching decks is the best way to learn decks so i'm gonna see if i can get some more people on the feature match it's been a fun day and let's see if we can continue our streak a little longer than a few minutes later three and oh baby three and oh okay so i'm gonna put you guys over here because i want to talk about that round um that round was against manadium now manadium is a deck that i don't have a lot of experience against especially coming back into the game and trying to be competitive i don't know what a lot of the newer manadium combos are i should have gone to trips master class it was really nice it was against our boy spencer shout out spencer great guy great player and uh game one pretty much what ended up happening was he made his board. I had a couple hand traps, but I just used them incorrectly. I used them in the wrong spots. And that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, that's how you learn. So I lost my game one. That was the only game I've lost so far today. Game two, I had shifter and a setup. I was going first. I won that game. And then game three, because I didn't get a feature match for you guys. I wanted to do some different feature matches, but I'm actually going to the finals now. So I'm going to do my feature match for sure. But game three, uh, he, he goes first. He makes his board. I go activate. I had double Wraith Soth in hand. So double Wraith Soth, double Theosis Unicorn, I think. And I drew uh, Scareclaw Cash, I think, for turn. And then I go activate Wraith Soth. He goes Baron. Now Baron negates the activation. And Wraith Soth said it can be activated once per turn. So because it negated the activation, slap the second Wraith Soth. And then, because he had Baron's SP this pattern. Um, I slap the second Wraith Soth and I'm able to break the board. So we're 3-0 now. And we're going into our last round. Let's get it. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm excited. This is my finalist opponent right over here. I can't believe I have to play you. Can I see what you're playing? No. Can I see what you're playing? No, no, no. no. There's no spice today. All right, we'll find it out. Spice. Good luck. Could be a mirror. It'll be it'll be on the feature match. It'll, so Spanko Duels, check it out. So this is game three of the finals at Locals, and honestly, I just want you guys to see what happens. Gamble. You know what? I will gamble. Pass. Okay. Nothing. I'm Go. In if you can kill me, sure. Well, if he has it, he has it. Because I'm going to lose regardless to, uh, to a Kaiju or something. So. I think you're playing it smart. If he has it, he has it. If he, ha if he has the Extender 8 and he can kill me, he kills me. If not, making a board means he's going to kill me for sure. Like if I make a board, he kills me for sure. Battle Sure, there you go. What the? Damn. So as you guys saw, I took a really big gamble and it turned out to be worth it. I'm now able to set up a board. However, I do misplay a little. I'm not playing around the Luna, which I should have thought about a little bit further. I completely forgot that Luna was a quick effect. So while I wasn't able to go for a game here, I was able to make a setup with Fenrir, Unicorn, Shangri-Era, and the Planet. Now Planet and Shangri do well together. As soon as I banish a card face down, I'm able to pop a card and stop all of his combos. From there, I'm able to go for game. My mistake is I forgot planet and the freaking Shangri La. Oh my god, GG's, GG's. Chair, baby. How was that? Misplayed, misplayed. I also misplayed. Yeah. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff, bro. Good. Four and oh, baby. Four and oh, let's go. First place, first locals on Cash Terra. First locals to playing competitively again getting used to all the decks learning all the decks playing kashtara one of my favorite decks of the format right now and what i think actually is one of the best decks of the format if you guys want to see a first place deck profile i'm gonna do that on the channel for you guys as well i upload every wednesday and saturday as well as the shorts every other day so you guys are getting seven videos a week okay seven videos a week but my next video after this one is going to be my first place kashtara deck profile we're making it happen, guys. This deck is insane. I didn't even draw Shifter. Okay, you guys can see my finals uh, match. I actually drew Shifter in my finals. I'll say this. I drew Shifter in my finals, okay? But Chair was on like some OTK deck that didn't even care about Shifter. So it didn't even matter. Let's go. All right, we got it, baby. We got it. Let's see what the pricing is like. And then uh, I'll end it off the vlog in a little bit. But I'm excited. Soon after. I you misplayed 80 times. I misplayed and I still won. What can I say? All right. No one was a kid. You guys saw the feature matches. I can't say anything. I can't say anything. You guys I mean, saw the feature matches. Spanko, Spanko duels. Uh, right there, baby. A lot of Namira. First place, baby. We made it. They're just haters. Everyone here is a hater, bro. Everyone here is a hater. I came back for the first locals and I first place. Yo, come here. Case event in like a week or two. Case right. event? Case event. I'm in. Pay the money, case event. I'm in. Easy. First place, baby. We make this happen. We make this happen. These guys, I'm telling you, these guys are all haters. These guys are all haters. They haven't seen me. Yo, be honest, be honest. When I used to play here competitively, I was Back a good like player. When Bode was new? I think Bode was, yeah. Sword Bode, was, Sword Bode was, was new. Good. Yeah. And then I stopped because I started doing the YouTube grind. Shout out you guys. And, and now then, we have to get him back. But so when I play competitive decks, good decks, and not content decks, 
I can, I can see. That's a Carolina. Why don't you buy my heroes? Max Rarity, come on. No, no, no. I don't want no Max heroes. Rarity, Get on. away from me. Come Get on. away from me. Come Stay on. away from me. Oh, baby. First place. I told you we can make it happen.